Well, the Human Genome Project is called one of the greatest scientific feats in history. Launched in the late 1990s, it set out to study and map our DNA to help us understand ourselves effectively. Well, almost 30 years later, scientists are pushing at the barriers of gene editing, as it's known. This could hold the cure to diseases like leukemia and Alzheimer's, as my colleague Anna Stewart found out. I've sent my DNA here to find out all about my genome. This is where we do the first quality control step. I'm hoping my sample wasn't disqualified. Oh, it, it was perfect. I did it right. It did it right. Yeah. Okay. A couple of decades ago, labs like this didn't exist. It was impossible for people to get information about their genome. That all changed in the early 2000s. We are here to celebrate the completion of the first survey of the entire human genome. Without a doubt, this is the most important, most wondrous map ever produced by humankind. The Human Genome Project, as it was called, brought together the best and brightest scientists from around the world. Their mission to map every gene in the human body. All of us working on the Human Genome Project realized this was historic. This was something we would only do once as a human species to read our own instruction book. And we were doing it. <laughs> Dr. Francis Collins and his team spent 13 years and $2.7 billion to complete the task. The Human Genome Project gave us the tools to read and decipher our genetic code. It was a good start, but what came next changed everything. In 2020, Emmanuelle Charpentier and her colleague Jennifer Doudna won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their breakthrough discovery while researching a naturally occurring protein in bacteria called CRISPR-Cas9. It works like molecular scissors in a way that can uh, cleave the DNA. Another explanation could be like a software that allows to rewrite a text. The genome is a kind of library of words and letters. It has a code and CRISPR-Cas is uh, programmable and one can use CRISPR-Cas to change the genetic code at will. The discovery opened up a world of possibilities, giving us the tools to potentially cure genetic diseases and disorders from Alzheimer's to leukemia. Do you remember what you thought at the time? I was absolutely blown away. This was the kind of game changer that doesn't come along more than maybe once every decade or maybe more. And if we could figure out how to harness it, this might give hope. Uh, to those people who suffer from thousands of diseases where we know the DNA mistake, but we don't have a treatment. All of those rare genetic disorders maybe now would be approachable in a new and powerful way. Anna Stewart, CNN, Dubai.